Hi my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend It's Alina with ASMR Treehouse, 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 Treehouse I'm gonna do a mix of soft speaking and the whispering also um, kind of throughout this video A little different, I don't usually do soft speaking um, so I wanted to mix it up a bit and give it a try and I thought this would be the perfect video to do that because I'm opening up a brand new set of tarot cards and I'm very excited to share these with you but first I need a little motion for this dress This is hands down the witchiest dress I own. Big fan. I am a big fan of this. Also, of course. My witch hat. Got some pigtail braids. I thought that they would be cute with this dress. I feel like I was correct. If you have a different opinion, I will not be accepting it at this time. Thank you for understanding. I know there's details about my setup to explain, so I'm gonna show you what you are here for. my cat tarot deck. My cat, cat, cat tarot deck. Look, I see my little cat peeking out. I love it so much. There's one on either side. This is a good, good deck. These are comically long for me, especially because I have like little stubby fingers. <laughs>
This is like a, this one was upside down. I'll show it to you upside down, but it's a cat with bobbles, all like the, all the little balls. I'm assuming this is another numbered card. This is the 10 of something. 10 of circles, 10 of spheres. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I want to know more about tarot. I love tarot so much, and I do have a few cards a few decks now um, with really awesome cards but I still rely on the book so much to tell me I'm pretty good at interpreting the cards once I know what the card means um, so we're gonna cut this deck a few times do some light and light shuffling um, we're gonna see what feels right we're gonna feel for that energy last time I laid all the cards out I don't have as much space this time, so we'll do it slightly differently. I think we'll pull three cards again, and we'll see what kind of story those cards tell us. So, I want you to look at this deck, and I want you to take a big, deep breath. Ready? I want you to hold a question in your head. Maybe it's something that you've been trying to figure out, a decision of sorts, or just something that's been bugging you, something that's been going on lately. I want you to hold that question right at the front of your mind. You're going to hold on to it, and I'm going to look through the cards and find us three, at least three. Last time another one jumped out at us. Three cards. And we'll see if we can solve something for you. Okay? I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna think. My spirit guides are usually very, very loud. I have a, you know, I come from a family of like strong matriarchs, um, like my, my grandmothers and my great aunts. Um, so my spirit guides tend to be very loud. So when I'm trying to read tarot or whenever I'm trying to do anything like divination related, I tend to get extras, like, if I'm trying to pull three cards, like, I'll have a card fall out while I'm trying to put the rest of the cards away, um, because there's just, there's too many of them. They all want to tell me something. They all think that their message is the most important, I'm sure. And I'm sure that they really want to get across what they want to get across. I'm trying to be very clear. Um, last time the story was about overcoming anxiety and being able to reap the fruits of the preparation that you've been putting in place. And I think that was so impactful. So hopefully this one also gives you some clarity. I think we've let it simmer long enough. <laughs> I don't know if we'll pull this one, but I have to show you this one on the bottom is a cat attacking toilet paper. <laughs> that 
so amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe that was not as mystical. Let's do this. I like to feel for the energy. I feel like I get like almost like a little tingle in my fingers. One more right. So I need or something in this middle. I think it's this one. I'll take this one. This one on the top kind of fell over, so we're gonna take that one too. Yes, miss? Did you want to pick the last card? That's Coco. Coco, did you want to say hi to your fans? It's a horrible time to have an itchy eye. When you have grippers. Coco, would you like to pick the last card? There's no room for you on this table. Let's see. This bit here is going to be still. Let's try one of these. Let's go with that. We'll put the rest of these away for now. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. This one as is here is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. It's so cute. Tuna time. Tuna time. It's a cat. An orange cat, of course. A ginger. Ginger. Cat. Um, total himbo would be the King of Pentacles. Um, and he's got his whole face in that tuna time. This one also right side up. This cat is holding on to something. A string, a toy, something like that. Let's take a look. We'll see. We'll look in the book and see what's going on there. And this one also right side up. Okay, so I'll flip these so you can see them. This is the page of pentacles. We got some pentacles going on here. I wonder what that means. Maybe just that I didn't show. No, no, Coco says this is true. This is what we were supposed to get. This is the cat being offered a treat, perhaps from the two to time. And he's like blepping. This is blepping cat. And there's a uh, pentagram in the back there. So, I'll spin these all around so you can get a better view. Since they were all right side up, they can all be facing the same direction. Let's go ahead and get see what the story is for today. We've got our little book, our nifty, nifty, nifty little book. Let's see. Oh no, we are all on sh No, I have to show you this one. Death is the vacuum. It's the vacuum. Where you think the devil is? We didn't pull the devil. What do you think the devil card is? Is represented by in this deck? It's a dog. It's a doggo. Oh, we'll go, go. She said, "Hurry up and get to the reading." Here we go. 
support that we are too. We are allowed to enjoy the treats and to use them wisely. There is a thief. An energy thief? Is it us? Is it our inner critic? Is it a toxic relationship? Is it a boss? Someone, a co-worker, a teacher, someone who's not not on board, not helping us achieve that success. I think for me this speaks really strongly of like a not a real mooch, but like an emotional leech. I think I often doubt myself. I often am my own worst critic. And because I get in the way of myself, I tend to steal my happiness and my success. I don't enjoy it. So I need to be on the lookout for that and make sure that I am not doing that. And then the Page of Pentacles is telling us, kind of similarly to the King of Pentacles, that if we make a plan and we stick to that plan, we are going to see success. This is very much a success story. I mean, there's two, two cards here about raping the rewards about about getting what we are due and letting our light guide the way because we know that we are on the right path we've put a lot of effort a lot of work and a lot of time into this whatever you're doing your future if you don't let that thief get in the way. Think about that. Think about who is your thief and is it you? Is it you stealing your happiness and getting in your way? Get out of your head. You know, if we, if we know that there is more beyond the, we know that there's more beyond the treat in the outstretched hand, we know there's a whole bucket of treats where that came from. So if we bide our time, if we lay a good plan, we will not get that one treat that we were handed. We're past that. We're beyond that. We are owed the whole jar. The whole jar. Do you hear me? You are owed the whole jar. And you are allowed to enjoy that jar. You are allowed to enjoy it wisely. Not all at once or you'll get a tummy ache. Okay? I tell me Hank. <laughs> this was so fun. This was so fun. This was so fun. Mind blown, you guys. planning in your life right now. Make that plan. Stick to that plan. Keep your energy leeches at bay. That's the vibe. That's the vibe for, for the fall. Fall 2023. That's the vibe. We're ending 2023 with success. Success not because it's been handed to us. We're not, you know, the, the one, we aren't going to take that one measly treat that's been handed to us. Success because we earned it. We earned this, okay? You earned this. You worked for it. I am so proud of you. 
I'm so proud of you for trusting the cat cards, for trusting this amateur witch to guide you through cat tarot. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me, for having fun with me, and for helping be a part of my success, right? You are here, part of my community. I've got a lot of things going on, a lot of things I'm planning, but uh, stick around, subscribe, be a uh, part of my channel. And if you like this, this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, that would be amazing. Um, I get ready for your success today. <laughs> no success is going to happen without a good night's sleep, so I hope that you are now very calm.